Hi everybody, it's William Green. Welcome to My Green Pets. And look, looky, looky, looky at Oncidium maculatum. 50 flowers. This is the biggest blooms, biggest bloom it's ever had for me. Two spikes. Still some buds to open up, but wow. I love it. It's literally spectacular from every angle. Just wonderful. Flowers everywhere. And they are fragrant. Now it's not a purely sweet fragrance. It's a little difficult to describe. It is sweet but there's kind of a muskiness to it as well. I'm not really sure how to best describe it. But it's pleasant. Kind of fruity. Really like it. And I of course love how many there are. And you know the plant itself is not that not that remarkable. You know. You have a big bulb. You have two leaves that come out of each bulb. That's pretty much it. Very slow grower, has only put on one bulb per year. But when it starts pushing out those spikes in the spring, it is really nice. Pretty excited about my Cattleya seedlings. Lots of roots. So it turns out that uh, this this plant has very, you know, Curious roots. They are really getting themselves into all kinds of places, just kind of going out of the pot, looking for other places to explore. They just want to go. Look at this is a small little plant, but look at this little root. I've told you guys in the past that I've got problems with snails. Look at this. Snails have literally eaten the side of that root off so annoying. I have put um, snail pellets, you can see them in the background there. Where are they? Uh, like right back there. See? And I've also put some kind of on the on the bottom there. And you know, I've seen a, I've seen a couple dead snails, but some of them are hard to to catch. Anyway, so those are the smaller seedlings, but look at the larger ones down here, for example. This is my biggest one. Look at that new growth. Really has shot up quickly. So excited about that. Now that, look at the base of it, how fat it is. Could this be a full adult-sized new growth? Could this be a bloom-sized growth? Could there be a sheath waiting inside that new leaf. Very top there is the new leaf pushing out. Will this plant bloom this year? Will this be the year? Four years ago I bought these from Flask. Little babies. You can tell they've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pseudobulbs. Each one slightly bigger than the last. Will this be the year? Who knows? Fingers crossed. My catacetum types are in full wake up growth mode. Uh, they've got roots. You can see roots pushing out the bottom down here. Roots, roots, roots everywhere. Very good sign. And these are just potted right now in the like the coconut basket fiber. Um, and they seem to be doing okay in it. I've actually had this one sitting in water to try to soak up as much as it can and you can see the, the old bulb has gotten nice and fat. And then this one it just keeps putting out more and more new roots. Always cool to see how many roots come out of these things. This is my other little one, this is Momodia Jumbo World, and its roots are not quite as fat as the Cyclonis, 
but uh, it definitely is putting out lots of them. It's got two growths coming out right next to each other, so it's going to be kind of easy. It's going to be interesting how they sort themselves out. I think one's going to go more forward and one's going to go more, more backward, but yeah, if we get real close, we can see lots of roots coming out of these and they just keep coming. So that's good. I'd like to see another growth pushing out on the opposite sides of these. They've got enough back bulbs that I feel like they should be putting out more growth, but uh, we'll see. I'm going to take I'm going to try to take really good care of these this year. They they got a little bit neglected last year and they didn't really do that great, but we're going to we're going to be more careful with them this year. Here's my Bulbo Medusae. It's got lots of new growths pushing out. There's two coming off of one bulb there. There's one coming off of this one here. There's lots of them coming out everywhere. There's one down there. You can see the pointy guy. Um, this is it's it's ready to be divided. It's 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 definitely needing to be, to be divided soon. It, the problem is it just has not warmed up yet. It's still cold outside. I mean, we had a couple warm days this week, but it's still cold. Uh, but it, sh you know, it should be warming up soon. I'm going to be dividing this plant very shortly. I've got several people who are going to be receiving divisions of this plant. So, please, please, thank you for your continued patience. Uh, it will be maybe a couple more weeks, but. Uh, before the end of April, I hope to have these all uh, shipped out. Same thing for Hal, the Bulbo Echinolabium. This division, this larger division, is uh, spoken for. Great. Uh, this one, I'm not sure if this one, this one might be spoken for. Um, and this one down here is spoken for and I think this division over here in the back I think this one is spoken for as well so I think that all my HAL divisions are spoken for and once again end of April I think is going to be what when we're looking at uh, shipping those out as well so your continued patience is appreciated okay let's talk about this thing this thing is huge it is needing very much to be split up into some smaller pieces. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to do that. I guess I'm just going to pull it out and start tearing pieces off. But if you're interested in a piece of this, this is the coconut orchid. It will be in bloom in June. Uh, very, very pretty red flowers. We covered in them. So if I can get this divided and sent off uh, by late April, uh, and you can, you know, acclimatize it to your conditions uh, within the next couple months after receiving it. You should be rewarded with some really nice red f scented flowers on it. I'm thinking I could probably get five decent sized divisions off this plant. So if you're interested in that, please uh, send me a message, email me, get in touch, and uh, I will try to get you a piece of this. This is my Oncidium speckled spire, starting to create branches here on the side of the spike. And it's a very, 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 very tall spike and it just keeps growing. It's so close to the light and I'm afraid it's going to get burnt. It's kind of warm up here. But I keep pulling it away a little bit. Got a smaller spike over here on the side. But that will be very pretty, and I think once the flowers start to weight the spike down, it will it will have a nice uh, tilt to it, you know. But we'll we'll see. I'm gonna try to just let it do what it wants to do. It's got lots of little buds popping out all over it. That's gonna be very nice. What else have we got to look at? Oh, my bulbo. Uh, this is lovely Elizabeth. Lovely Elizabeth has got new growths popping out. There's one there. A little one down here. And then there's another one down here as well. See it? Very nice. This is the Amicella monticola. I've repotted it into moss. Uh, it's got a new leaf, new leaf coming out. Hopefully it's going to adapt okay to that moss. It was in bark before. Um, so we'll see. Not sure. These things do not like to be messed with. So it might set it back a little bit. But anyway. 
uh, it needed to be repotted. It wasn't staying wet enough. They needed a lot of moisture. Anything else to look at? Let's see here. I cut the flower off the little path callosum. It was, uh, it needs to grow. It needs energy. We're starting to lose some lower leaves down there and trying to keep those flowers up it takes a lot of energy. So I chopped it off. Enjoyed that for a couple months. And little magic lantern over here. Exciting. It's got that, you know, maybe this could be a sheath. There might be a flower pushing out the middle in the next couple months. It is a summer bloomer, I believe, so we'll know in the next couple months if it's decided that it's going to bloom or not. Oh, I probably need some water. I think that's just about everything to look at today. But this was definitely the main star of the show, the Oncidium Maculatum. Love this thing. Love those flowers. So pretty. Anyway, thank you guys for stopping by. Oh, there's one more thing. I told you that I had a, uh, I had written an article for a local magazine. Well, I'm going to show you now where you can find that if you would like to have a look. Hey guys, a few weeks ago in my video, I was talking about um, weeping cherry trees and how much I liked them and how, how pretty I thought they were. And then I had a chance to write about them, do some research and write about them for a local magazine. So here we are on the page, the webpage of that local magazine. And if you, let's see, if you just go to their main page, it's owensboroliving.com. I'm going to provide that link at the bottom of this video in the description so you can check it out that way. But when you get to their uh, webpage, you can just click on it is. Uh, Weeping Cherry Trees Are Worth Celebrating It's the name of the article. And when you pull it up, um, you have a place to click like, click dislike, leave a comment and story by William Green. So yeah, this is it. This is my first like published published stuff. So I'm super excited about it. Please check it out. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited about it. Uh, that's all I got for you today. And thank you guys for stopping by. And we'll see you next time right here on My Green Pets. I'm William Green. See you later.